Howdy folks, Moose here. Well, I have a promise to keep. And that's to all the great folks who came on Moose Cruise 2, courtesy of B&H and Lexar. We just had that in New York Harbor. Circle Line took us on a great three-hour tour. And we had overcast skies. Overcast skies tend to give you a color cast. Now, how do you remove the color cast? That's the whole point of this, using Photoshop CC and Adobe Camera Raw. Now I'm working on the Mac Retina. I have my Wacom 13HD plugged in. So I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's just get to it. I'm right now in Photoshop. I have Mini Bridge here. I have the two images. I'm just going to double click on this. They'll bring up the first one. Now, it's pretty simplistic. We've got this light coming in from the scene. It's got a color cast to it. That's because the light falling on the scene, okay, it has a bluish color cast. And our sensor just by the nature of them, isn't dealing with it. Quickest and easiest way to get rid of the color cast is come up here to our white balance tool. Okay, so it's in the top corner. Just going to come up to it. Okay, white balance tool right here. And then all I'm going to do is click on that. And it's really, you could say, almost arbitrary. You're supposed to find some neutral color, a gray. But what we're going to do is if you watch the temperature over here, we're going to actually going to change that slider. Now I'm going to come up here on the World Trade Center because that's where I'm seeing most of the color cast and click on it and you will see this very quick warm up of the tone. And you see what we've done is that slider has gone up. Now you can arbitrarily just click around and you'll see that it will change. Okay. And so yeah, it could be totally arbitrary. If you really want to do it correctly, you would get somebody with a giant 18% card, have them stand on that building, and you would click on the 18% card, and you'd be good to go. Of course, if you found someone who would do that for you, I think you don't need to take pictures. You need to be in another line of business. But that, that's not for now. So you could click around. And personally, I like to come up here kind of in the sky right there. That's a pretty simple clean, and then you see the sky. Now, we got rid of the color cast, all right? It's not like a huge, big color cast. And, you know, to click around, get the number you want, get the look you like, you know, it's your photograph. Now, warmer skies like that, okay, not so bad. Now, how can we improve that? Well, first of all, let's go to the cl clarity. Right off the bat, clarity starts popping things out. Can we do a little bit more popping? Because you look at the clouds. I like the way the clouds are working. Now, this light, a little bit down. What I'm going to do is let's put in some exposure, okay? Just a third of a st stop. All it takes. I could bring up some light in the shadows. Okay, shadows being down here. Now I can work with the colors. I'm going to come over to my HSL grayscale, go to luminance. I can make the reds, the orange, okay, those colors all a little bit brighter. Take my blues, the background of the sky, make them come down. Okay, very quick, very simple, easy way to bring up the image and that's the basics of color cast now let's say you got something a little more complicated this is pretty simple okay let's go something a little more complicated what might that be you remember at the end of our cruise captain did a great thing and he sat there and he got the fireboat to sit there and put all his fountains on i mean it was spectacular you can see i'm sitting here shooting this shots uh, with the 18 to 35 on the d4 I'm shooting at a tenth of a second, and for me, you know, worked out just fine. Okay, so there's your basic shot. Now, we got a color cast. Dark skies, setting sun, lights. Come over here, grab this. Come over and click on what? The water? Is the water important to you? Look what happened just then. Look, zoom in a little bit more again so you can see what's happening. You could sit there and do some really heavy lifting here, okay? You can move this around. I'm going to hold down the space bar. We could grab our white balance tool. We could click right on the boat. Okay. So it's not quite so warm. So instantly you can see what we're doing. We're going to take our clarity. What if I'm bringing clarity up a little bit? I like clarity over in these kind of times. It adds a little contrast. See the spray comes a little bit better. Now exposure, it was really dark. Now if you want it brighter, you can bring it brighter. Let's say, for example, you want to sit there and let's say... You want to do a lot of finishing in Adobe Camera, kind of my thing. I'm going to bring it up two-thirds of stop. Then I'm going to grab, and the great thing about CC, I'm going to grab the radial filter, 
And I can grab the radio filter and bring it down. I'm gonna bring it back over here. So now it's it's making this a little bit brighter, or in this darking, it's kind of a cool vignette. We can sit there and change that. I mean, you can make it really dark outside the circle. Nah, not so much. Or just a little bit, which is what I'm working at now. It's probably about the same amount going down out here as I brought up the whole image. All right. You can work those little bits right there. Then we come back over to our HSL grayscale. Okay, we can sit there and we can bring up the brightness in the reds, the green, the lights, all those color lights. We can make them brighter. We can sit there and bring up the, of course, we can go over to saturation, bring up a little more saturation, do a quick, real quick kind of finish on them, and there you go. So it's very simple. Bottom line is, color cast coming because there's a mismatch of the light falling on the scene compared with the camera's correct, uh, collecting. We grab our white balance tool. We clicked on, you know, you can do it 18% gray is technically what you want, but it's really your photograph. You can do what you want. And then you sit there and, and just go for it. Um, you know, and I'm going to sit there and I'm up the shadows a little bit in that fire boat. Bring up the whites because the whites is the water. Pretty quick little clean shot. Great way to finish our night with the Moose Crew. So I thank you for joining us and hopefully these little ideas will help you finish your photographs. And be sure to share those with others. Get them to fall in love with the Big Apple.